Okay, so in this video, we will introduce the notion of inflection points. So we say that x0 is an inflection point of the function y equals f of x if the function changes concavity at this point. And x0 can only be an inflection point of the function f of x if the second derivative of the function at x0 is either equal to 0 or is undefined. So this clearly means that inflection points are crucial points in sketching a graph of any given function because only at those points can the curve change its concavity from concave up to concave down or concave down to concave up. And let's see why this is fairly obvious. So in the first case, if the second derivative is always positive on some interval, then the curve is always concave up. Now, of course, it could be concave up and decreasing. It could be concave up and increasing. Or it could also, of course, be both concave up, decreasing, then concave up, increasing. But regardless, on any given interval, if the second derivative is always positive, the curve is always concave up, therefore no change in concavity. Well, the other option, of course, is that on some interval, the second derivative is always negative, in which case the curve is always concave down. Now, of course, it could be concave down decreasing. It could be concave down increasing. And, of course, it could be both concave down, first increasing, then decreasing. But regardless of which one of these it is, when the second derivative is always negative, the graph of the function is always concave down. And so you see that when we have a positive second derivative, concavity is always up. When we have a second derivative that is always negative, concavity is always down. Therefore, concavity can only change if we exclude those two possibilities. But if you exclude y double prime being positive and negative, all that remains are the values of x where the second derivative is 0 or is undefined. So hopefully this is now fairly obvious. Now the last comment that I want to make is we have to be careful. So we know that a function can only change from concave up to concave down or concave down to concave up if we go through a inflection point of the function. Therefore, a value of x at which the second derivative is 0 or is undefined. But a value of x at which the second derivative is 0 or undefined does not guarantee an inflection point because an inflection point is a point at which the concavity of the function does change. And to show this, we can give a simple example. And for this, we will look at the graph of the familiar function y equals x4. So notice that the function is always concave up. And let's now look at its possible solutions to the derivative, the second derivative being 0 or being undefined. So the first derivative of x4 by the power rule is of course 4x cubed. The second derivative, again, by the power rule and the constant multiple rule is 12x squared. And so this is always defined as it's a polynomial. And where can it be 0? Well, only if x squared is 0, therefore only if x is equal to 0. So x equals 0 is a solution to the second derivative being equal to 0. So we have a point x equals 0 at which the second derivative is equal to 0, but is x equals 0 an inflection point of the function x to the 4? And the answer is clearly no. The graph of our function is always concave up. On the left of 0, concave up, decreasing. And once the function goes through 0, 
the function remains concave up but now increasing, but concavity does not change as the function goes through x equals 0. And this is clear, of course, from the second derivative because 12 is positive, x squared is always non-negative, so the second derivative is always either positive or 0. Therefore, it is clear that since the second derivative can never be negative, then the graph of the function is always going to be concave up. And so you can see that it is not because you have a point where the second derivative is 0 that this point is necessarily a point where concavity will change, therefore what we call an inflection point. So to summarize, an inflection point is a point at which the function changes concavity, so it goes from concave up to concave down, or concave down to concave up. Any point x0 can only be an inflection point if the second derivative of the function at this point is 0 or is undefined. And such a point, so a point where the second derivative is 0 or undefined, is not necessarily an inflection point. And that's it.